Hello all. I have been banned from social media for a week um, to help my friend out with her dissertation. I'm not allowed to look at Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or Instagram and there's argument about WhatsApp as well but I refuse to accept that. So I'm making a log every day for a week um, just there's something to do because I'm fucking bored. Um, went to uni today, spending an hour on a bus without Twitter to read is excruciating. I can't tell you. And reading something like Aristotle at 10 o'clock in the morning is not something to joke about. It's painful. Um, and tonight I've rearranged my room and rediscovered Buffy season one on Netflix. Um, and that's it. Nothing exciting, nothing funny. The amount of things I've wanted to say on Twitter today that I can't, I'm about ready to lose my mind. It's only been day one. Um, I have learnt one thing though, as good as an idea as it is, eating honey on toast isn't. I, it was half an hour ago, I'm still sticky, and not in a good way. Thanks. Good morning, this is day two of my social network blackout. Um, and I'm at uni today, um, and I know I'm wearing sunglasses inside, but I'm not that much of an arsehole. I got woken up at four o'clock in the morning by work call, so I feel like I've got two bags of cement under my eyes, and I don't think anybody needs to see it. Um, everyone thinks this is hilarious, and a bunch of my friends last night decided they would tag me in everything they could on Facebook because I get email notifications about it and I'm not allowed to go and look. Which is some sort of torture, I'm sure. Sadistic bastards. Um, I wanted to like point out all the crap outside as well because it's just... It's not very clear, but that is all the smog and low cloud dust stuff over Harlow, um, which is really depressing and isn't filling me with much joy because, quite frankly, I'd rather get my pins out a bit more. Hi, it is now 48 hours since I've used any social media. Um, and it's all right. It's not too bad. I've not gone completely insane yet. Um, I have rearranged my room twice a little bit um, and eaten far more chocolate biscuits than I should. Um, and I've realised as well, I just don't take in any news now. Um, I get it all from Twitter and Facebook and it dawned on me this morning that anything could actually happen and I probably wouldn't know. Um, like, if I stayed at home all day and didn't see anybody, the, like, the Queen could die and I wouldn't know. Buckingham Palace could blow up. There could be an alien invasion somewhere and I would not have a clue. Um... I pointed that out to my friends at work today and uh, they tried to convince me that square cream eggs existed. Obviously, that's crap, um, which I'm quite disappointed about because I would quite like a squeg. Squegs sound like a great thing. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think they're real. Um, but, you know, I won't really know. I'll have to ask Twitter at some point next week. Uh. Also... While, while I'm on the subject of chocolate biscuits, because I've got some to hand, um, I did read this in the news last week before I was banished from knowing what's going on in the world. Um, I read on The Independent that everyone eats chocolate biscuits upside down. Um, and I read about it and apparently instead of eating them chocolate side up, you're supposed to eat them chocolate side down, which fascinates me, but makes complete sense because it's got the little look, it's got the little... McVitie's thing and that would be on the top wouldn't it it makes perfect sense um but they just don't taste the same like 
I've been puzzling about it for at least a week now. I think everybody needs to go and have a look and try it because it's still confusing me. I've, I've been flipping biscuits over for about a week like a mad thing. Um, yeah, I, I should probably sleep because I'm probably sleep deprived, going a bit squiffy. Night. Hi, I'm back at work today. It's Saturday um, and it's day three of my uh, social media blackout rubbish. Um, I'm all right, it's quite good. I've not gone completely crazy. Um, I still don't know what's going on with anybody, um, which is a bit weird. Um, but the sun's back out, which is great. And um, there's something really satisfying about walking into town 15 minutes in the sunshine. And I don't think it's just that it's making my bum better. So it's the end of day three of my little video diary. Um, and I've been thinking the last well, a couple of days, because um, I've just moved house and everyone says that a change is as good as a rest and I genuinely think that that's a load of tosh that's only ever said by people that never go through much change. I'm still exhausted. Um, I don't know whether it's because the clocks changed last weekend and I still don't really know what day it is um, or because I'm not quite settled in. Um, I don't think I've ever known myself sleep as much as I have done this week. Every night I've gone to bed at sort of a regular time, slept, got up, done whatever, come home, eaten, fallen asleep, woken up again, and then gone back to bed at a regular time. So I'm like knocking up way more sleep than normal. Um, and it's only sort of today um, at work that I finally felt like my head was screwed back on. But I still don't really understand why I'm sleeping, but I'm just sleeping so much I came home from work had dinner by about eight o'clock I was asleep woke up at quarter to ten um and that was what about an hour and a half ago um so I sat and planned out another section for my dissertation or tried um which I'm kind of happy with um look I can read it some loads of notes and notes and um yeah basically it's a lot of lifting from another essay um, and just pulling bits out of that and I read it through this essay that I wrote last term and it just reads like absolute crap I never read my work back um, once I've handed it in it's just a rule um, but I really think I should because <laughs> what I wrote six months ago just sounds absolutely dire um, and I don't understand how what I've written this term sounds or feels to me so much better. But I hope that's a good thing. Anyway, um, I've had Buffy on in the background to help because I'm so bored. Um, but that's fine. Um, I still don't really know what's going on with anyone else in the world, which is really quite strange. Um, and I'm sure people are just going to stop telling me just so that I feel completely unaware. Um, and yeah, that's that. Um, now I'm going to write a letter because I promised someone that I would and I haven't yet, which is quite bad. Um, but I'll probably give up and go to sleep because that's what I do is sleep a lot. I don't know. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and another thing before I do fall asleep again, because I invariably will. Um, this whole no social media thing is making dissertation work quite hard, actually. Um I know a lot of the time it's a massive distraction, but when you're trying to like source information, asking Twitter's brilliant. Um, so it feels like everything's going a lot slower than it possibly should. Um, I mean, I've got a survey I'm trying to get out and I just can't because I can't push it on social media. And that's a great way of crowdsourcing. Um, so I'm sort of hitting my head against a brick wall with that one. But, you know, hopefully it'll fall down soon or my head will break. But, you know, whatever. Hello. It is day four now of my little experiment. Um, I just got home from work and cleaned the kitchen up. Um, and right about now, I should be thinking about having some tea and going for a little nap. Because I've had about five hours sleep. Um, I woke up at seven, been at work all day, um, and I need a nap. 
instead in about an hour and 40 minutes, maybe less now. Um, I'm supposed to be at Amy's house. Um, so I've got a cup of coffee that tastes a bit like tar, but it's working. Um, uh, and I must remember not to get my phone out and start making videos during the night because that's just not going to look good, really. Nobody needs to see that. Hi, um, so I'm at Amy's house. Um, I was on time. She's still very much not ready and I'm being very careful not to get her in shot at the minute. So while I'm waiting, I'm trying to fit into her boots because I like them. And this is how far I've got. I have the feet of a clown. This has really upset me. I wanted to wear these. I'm, I'm very unhappy with this situation. Hi, it's day five, um, well the end of day five now, and I think, wow, week's nearly over, and I'm not really missing social networks that much. My friends have spent a lot of time today tagging me in things on purpose, um, just, just for their own amusement. I've been completely silent on the internet for nearly a week. No one's asked if I'm alright. Bit of a concern there. I, you know, I could be in a ditch somewhere and nobody would know. Um, that's upsetting. Um, I was thinking though, um, today, that everyone talks about the world being really small now. Um, and everyone's really connected and da 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 but I don't think that's true I think people are like, after this week I'm starting to think people are more disconnected like really than before because you just sort of you're not as in contact with people as you actually think you are um that might just be me um because I'm rubbish um but yeah and then I read in a magazine yesterday on my lunch break that everyone um particularly women are more angry than ever before i thought oh that's interesting because i'm always just a little bit irritated um and it's always it's all to do with things like too much caffeine trying to do too much and being glued to your phone or laptop or a screen of some sort i thought actually i do that all the time um i, I mean i don't do anything I won't leave the house if I've not had two cups of coffee and normally two cigarettes, but that's besides the point. Um, but it's all like that mix of chemicals and stress and whatever um, that just make people really agitated constantly. And I do think I feel a bit calmer for not being on my phone all the time, um, which is probably a good thing. Um, maybe like a little digital detox is what people need now and again. Um, if they can deal with having themselves for company because that's that's sort of what this is like i always think i'm quite good at um being on my own because you know there's such practice at it um but then i think when you take away social networks you really are sort of got yourself for company which is kind of weird um to deal with but there you go um Anyway, it's wildly past my bedtime again. Um, this sort of napping of the day thing is getting really ridiculous. <laughs> so I just can't sleep at night. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go count loads of sheep. Um, yeah. Hi, it's, um, it's day seven now um, of my little week off Twitter and such. Um, completely forgot to post anything or like record anything last night um, and fell asleep and then woke up at four and thought, oh, maybe not then. Um, and obviously went back to sleep. Um, uh, not really that fussed at the minute about Twitter and Facebook. Um, kind of enjoy not seeing everyone rant about how their relationships have failed or 
or look at this photo of my child, um, which is all well and good, but if it's every day, it gets a bit tiresome. Um, and stuff. Um, so I watched Sucker Punch last night, um, which I've seen before, but I still don't really get it. Like, there are some girls in an asylum, and then one of them pretends that they're not in an asylum and they're in a brothel, and then every time she does a little dance, they pretend that they're not in a brothel and they're off fighting robots or dragons or clockwork Nazi people, and I don't really understand that, but anyway. Um, so I thought yesterday, while I was at work, I was having a bit of a stressful day, I'd um, go buy a nice big bar of chocolate um, for later, great, makes perfect sense. Um, and I was up there, chomping away on my chocolate last night, watching a film, um, and I thought, you know, knowing that I'm eating this big bar of chocolate to myself wasn't guilty enough, so I started reading the packaging, just how guilty should I feel, how much, like, how much should I starve myself today, basically, um, to make up for it, and, um, yeah, I was reading it, and it says on the back, and I read all the ingredients and everything, um, not suitable for vegetarians. Um, I don't know if you can see it because it's really bright out here. Um, yeah, it says not suitable for vegetarians on the back. Um, now let's not get bogged down with how little of this chocolate is left. Um, that's not the point. Um, but nowhere on here does it say anything that looks like meat to me. So I stopped eating it, probably far too late. Um, but I just, it just made me think, what if they just injected it with lard? How how much of a block of lard have I just eaten? Um, a little bit upset about that. Um, I feel a bit sick still, just thinking about it. Um, I think really they should put like a big label on the front of something like chocolate that shouldn't have cow in it. That say, don't eat this if you don't eat animals, because we'd put, you know, half a pig in it for you. Um, not not happy with that Capri's. Um also sorry um about my scruffy appearance but this is how I look when I've just rolled out of bed. Um it's probably why I'm single, but you know, whatever. Um anyway, I need to go get ready for work. Um probably say something tonight that's equally as banal as the rest of all of this, but you know. Hi, I'm just sauntering to work, um, but look at what a beautiful day it is. This is just like joy. Uh, this just makes me really happy. And also, bow ties. Bow ties, everyone. Bow ties. So, after eating half a cow in a bar of chocolate last night, I've decided to like really not eat a lot today. Um, did that whole Boots 500 calorie meal deal shit today and I'm still starving how, how do people survive on nothing I may as well have eaten a handful of dust probably going to waste away just be a pile on the floor by 4 o'clock so it's the last night of this little experiment um, lasted a complete 7 days not looked at any social networks at all um, which is really really strange when you're on them all the time um, now that it's nearly done um, I'm kind of bored and just want to give up and cave in now because I think I'll wake up in like what 10 hours and why waste 10 hours um, if that makes sense, but I'll be a good boy and stick to it because that's the rules um, I think half my problem is that the internet seems to be going really slowly and Netflix won't play Which makes me really sad because I was halfway through an episode of Buffy um, It's a hard life um, Yeah, that's that um, Now next challenge is to figure out how to put all these videos together because I have no clue um, and I'm useless at techie stuff, so I'll probably end up giving up and crying tomorrow at a computer at uni. Um, but you know, that's that's a bridge I just had to cross. Hmm.